Hey there, thanks for stopping by Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals and I've got a whole bunch of glasses up here and I wanna do a little magic trick with you today and talk about, you know, is this really magic or is it science? Now we'll get to that at the end, but let me tell you a little story. I've got some water right over here and I know that the, most of you probably have heard the story about the guy that took water and turned it into wine. Now, He's a pretty famous guy. In fact, I believe they called him Jesus. Now, I would never consider myself that. We took the water and turned it into wine. Now, so the story goes that once the water was turned into wine, all of a sudden you had a lot of people walking around that were drinking wine all day. And so all of a sudden, the, the chemist came out and said, wait a minute, maybe we can take this a step further. Maybe we can diversify so that everybody's not just drinking wine all day. Maybe we can take that wine, and you know the saying, when life gives you lemons, you do what? You make lemonade. Now wait a minute, how do I know that's lemonade? Well, because it's got a lemon wedge on the edge. We've turned water into wine, and that wine into lemonade, because when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Now again, a person can only drink so much lemonade. What the chemist decided to do was this, hey, I'll make it a little more exciting. I'll take my lemonade and I will spice it up. And maybe you've heard of this drink, 7-Up, which is basically just bubbly lemonade. Look at this, huh? So look, we've gone from water into wine, into lemonade, into 7-Up. So he took the 7-Up and all of a sudden turned it into, Ooh. what does a body good? Milk. So now all of a sudden we've got the milk. Now here's the trouble. You've got an entire population of people now drinking the wine, drinking the water, drinking the 7-Up, and our bodies aren't necessarily used to that or they weren't back in the day. So finally the chemist said, wait, let me help you all out. Let's take this milk and turn it into something that's going to make everybody's bellies feel better. You know what that is. That, my friends, is Pepto-Bismol. Huh? So look! There we go, we've gone through a whole sequence here. And I wash my hands of this, no special tricks up my sleeve. Thank you very much. So we've modeled some simple science to do a little magic. Now, I don't wanna ruin it for you. So here's what I would do. I'd pause this video and move on to something else in life. So that you can always think, wow, look at there, magic, water, turn in a... Or you can stick around and I'll walk you through how to do this on your own and tell you a little bit about the science that's going on in each one of the cups. Well, if you're still here watching the video, I guess you wanna know how to do this. So here we go. We're gonna start off with 200 milliliters of distilled water in cup number one. But we need to add some phenolphthalein solution to that. We're gonna use about four drops, doesn't need to be exact, and then add it to our first cup. For cup number two, we need to change the pH. So we're gonna use 10 drops of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. That molarity tells us how strong it is. In cup three, 1.5 milliliters of nine molar sulfuric acid. This is pretty strong sulfuric acid. One of the reasons I'm wearing gloves to mix these. In the next one, we're gonna measure out one gram of sodium bicarbonate. You might know that as baking soda, same thing but we're gonna dissolve that with just a little bit of water, about two milliliters, so we'll get a good reaction. Dump that in the bottom of that cup. In the next cup, cup five, we're gonna use nine milliliters of saturated barium nitrate solution. That's gonna make our milk when we mix all these together. And last but not least, in the final cup, we need six milliliters of six molar sodium hydroxide. One of the other reasons I'm wearing gloves, We've got our water with our phenolphthalein in it. And next, we've got our sodium hydroxide, which is very basic. So here we go, we're gonna dump it in, see what happens. Phenolphthalein is an acid-base indicator, so it changes colors when it turns basic. It changes to pink. When it's acidic, it's clear. So that's how we're getting these color changes. This one had sulfuric acid, so we're changing our solution back to acidic, which is why it's turning clear. That's our lemonade. Next up, now I accidentally put the lemon wedge on the wrong one here. 
But we've got our baking soda in the bottom of this one. When the acidic solution hits it, it releases CO2 gas that makes the bubbles. The next one is making a precipitate. So it's making little chunks of barium sulfate. Those chunks are floating around and it makes it look like milk. And remember, phenolphthalein changes the color. So in this one, we change the pH again, back to basic, the opposite of acidic, and we get pink. So is it science or is it magic? Well, obviously it is science, but in a way it can be kind of magical. And that's one of the great things. This is the kind of stuff I love to do in my classroom. And I love to do for little kids to grab their attention and all of a sudden maybe trick them into learning just a little bit about science. So I think we've done pretty well here today. And I think we've answered the question. It's definitely science. Thanks for watching. A lot more going on here at Beale Science or BealScience.com. Check out the videos, come over and say hi. And maybe leave me a comment down there. Tell me what we should do next. A little more science, a little more magic, or maybe we should just blow something up. Hit the subscribe button and you'll get to see everything right when it comes out.